Surge will remember Wait, this. Wait, so I have to be on Surge's team? Hey. Yeah. <sighs> How are you going to gonna press flyers? with your imaginary watch? Oh my god. I, I would not have uh, signed up for this. All right. Yeah. What if I, imagine I had a really fancy watch, too. Yeah, yeah. We could do watch besties. Yeah, you need to work on that. Please What's our do. gimmick? We're going to win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need a new gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. We need a new gimmick. No, our gimmick's fine. Our gimmick's fine. <laughs> Welcome to the Elder Dragon Social Club. You made it. All you had to do was go under the hedge, through the sewer, and past the locked door that said absolutely not. And now you've arrived just in time to see which budget deck list is the best. That's right. We're facing off this month with the Commander 2022 Starter Decks. Now, if you're looking to order any of these decks or some singles to go in said decks, you know the best place to order them would be CardKingdom.com. They're the sponsors of the show, and if you use our affiliate code EDSC, it lets them know that we sent you there and that you like this content, which is really cool because we like making this content and want to keep doing that. You can also sleeve your decks in wonderful Dragon Shield sleeves. And if you go to store.loadingreadyrun.com, you can buy EDSC sleeves right there. And they're high quality Dragon Shield sleeves. So without further ado, let's see which budget brew wins the face off. Okay, we've got four players, me, Serge, James, and Ben. And we've got four commanders and four decks and we're all sleeved up and ready to go. So let's talk about what we're bringing to the table. Uh, I've decided to play to type. I'm playing Gisa and Garolf. They are uh, human wizards and they just want to have some fun. And um, when they enter the battlefield, the most fun that you can have is to mill four cards because I like to mill. And once during each of your turns, I can cast a zombie creature spell from my graveyard, which is totally fine and absolutely not abusable in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Surge, who are you playing? I was just like, I don't have a type, and everyone's like, yes, you do, it's Amara. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? You're a Selesnia guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like you embody a lot of their ideals, to be honest. Yeah. You're like very sweet. Oh. You enjoy like wholesome, like artisanal things. You're a little culty. Uh, you know, just the things that the things that Selesnya is all about. Yes, I, I I would say I'm guildless. I mean, let me know in the comments. Ooh, YouTube interaction. Anyways, I'm playing Amara, Soul of the Accord. This is a two mana two two legendary elf cleric for a green and a white. Whenever Amara becomes tapped, create a one one white soldier creature token with life link. That's it. Good things come in small packages. James. Cool. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm playing. What, what a change I, of pace! Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm playing to type two, white blue. That's me, Asperia, <laughs> Supreme Judge. Two white, white, blue, blue for a legendary creature, Sphinx. It's a six-four flyer. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. All the things I love in Magic: God, that expensive, white and blue, drawing cards. It's all me. I love it. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here because I'm uh, shackled to the table, and I have to be here for the episodes. Uh, <laughs> definitely not playing to type. This seems like it's going to be very combat-y and uh, turning sideways, so I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit with myself. Uh, it's Carder. 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 <laughs> Doom Scourge. Carder Doom Scourge. Carder Doom Scourge. <laughs> uh, they're a de demon berserker for 4-3. Uh, when Carder Doom Scourge enters the battlefield until your next turn, Creatures your opponent's control attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Sorry, did you say until your next turn? Yeah, so when I play him, everybody got to attack oh. and it can't be me. He's kind of got like group goad. Yeah, mega goad. Mm -hmm. uh, and whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. That's just like constant effect. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, wow. combat. Okay. Yeah, these all seem even. <laughs> Amara's like, I'm here. Yeah, but every time she is forced to attack, you get a 1 1 soldier. Really, I'm helping you. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I have vehicles or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we ready to play? Yeah. I believe I won the die roll. All right. So I'm going to start us off by drawing, which is my right. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll show up later. Yeah. Great start. One of my it's favorite a... cards in all of Magic Gathering is in this. I just Rage drew. down Sol Ring? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Sol Ring is like the most Karen favorite card ever. <laughs> it's the basic B. You play B. Sol Ring and say, let me speak to your manager? Like uh, I'm going to play Urberg Verkurder oh, and uh, tapped and pass to you, Kathleen. What card is that? Uh, it's, a, it's a ready blackie that it comes in tapped. Okay. All right, I'm going to play a Swamp and say go. Oh, powerful magic. Mm -hmm. Draw for the turn. I have four lands in my hand that all enter play tapped. Ah, I'm spoiled for choice. Let's start with the Tranquil Thicket then. Or wait, sorry, pardon me, the Tranquil Expanse. There's these Tranquil a lot in these colors. Tranquil Expanse. Pass. All right. What does that do, Serge? It's a greeny whitey. It enters play tapped. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> I will draw a card. I will play a Prairie Stream, tapped. Uh, it taps for white or blue. Go ahead. Powerful okay. Magic. Powerful magic. I will draw. I will play a Swamp. Now, what do you think is one of my favorite cards in Magic the Gathering that I could be playing with two mana in Rakdos colors? Pack Rat. Oh. What's your <laughs> What's your guess? Uh, the, the Fire Guy? I can't remember. <laughs> Oh, the fire, oh, the fire oh, the tappy one. Yeah. Um, um, Thermo um, Alchemist. Thermo Alchemist. Yeah. yeah. As you know me well. As soon as you said it, I was like, yeah. Thermo Alchemist. It's Thermo Alchemist. He's a 0 3 with Defender. Yeah. Uh, taps for one to ping somebody. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I untap him. Ping somebody or ping everybody? Ping everybody. That's worse. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to play an island, and I too have a two drop. I'm going to play. Uh, Theros All Star, Mire Triton. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's a 2 1 zombie merfolk with death touch. And when it enters the battlefield, I mill two cards and I gain two life. So I'm going to mill a Cemetery Reaper and, the, and Liliana's Standard Bearer. And I'm going to gain two life and I'm going to say go. Hmm. Having a zombie lord in your bin when you have a friend that can bring back zombies from your bin seems pretty good. It's like they designed the deck to sort of work together. Oh, synergy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Untippity, draw for the turn. Forest, I too have a two drop. It's my commander, Amara. Ah. Can't attack you, can't attack you. Well, you can. Well, she's got summoning sickness. Yeah. You can't attack also can't anyone. Attack at all. Hold on, hold on. I'm just, I was setting this up to be like bad news, James. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I like that way oh, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I untap, I draw. I play this planes. I too have a two drop. Oh. oh! I play Remorseful Cleric. It's a two one flyer. Sacrifice it. Exile target player's graveyard. No, I can't attack you. Sure can't. <laughs> Pass the turn. I mean, realistically, you could attack him, but like, I would take the trade every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to draw for the turn, play a mountain, and then I'm going to tap for two to play a Rakdo Signet. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to actually tap that <gasps> Rakdo Signet uh, for two mana to play Lightning Greaves, which I throw <laughs> on my Thermo Alchemist. <laughs> Hell yeah. Pass the Let's third. Go. Gonna play my third land. So I have a 2 1, but it's got Death Touch. Mm -hmm. So that probably means no one's gonna block my 2 1. That's true. Highly likely. <laughs> All right, Serge, I'm gonna attack you. But why? Because you're across the table from me. <laughs> Look. Direct this is, this is actually yeah. a headed giant. It always right. ends up being that. <laughs> All right, 38. I mean, we get, what? Surge will remember Wait, this. Wait, so I have to be on Surge's team? Yeah. Hey. Uh, How are you going to impress with, with your imaginary watch? Oh, my God. I, I would not have uh, signed up for this. All right. What if I, imagine I had a really fancy watch, too. Yeah, yeah. We could do watch besties. Yeah, you need to work on that. I can get a Sharpie. <laughs> Please What's our do. gimmick? We're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> we need a new gimmick. Yeah. We need a new gimmick. No, our gimmick's fine. Our gimmick's fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play. I'm going to follow up. I'm going to play a three drop. My god. I'm going to play a gleaming overseer. Mm -hmm. When it enters the battlefield, a mass one. Um, I'm going to make a one one zombie army token. And uh, zombie tokens you control have hexproof and menace. Hexproof and menace? Yes. Oh, man. Go ahead. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. I block. Well, well, well. Let's test it. Okay. I attack. I block. Hold on, I have an attack <laughs> trigger. <laughs> Wait until I have the lifelink. Okay, you've had some time to think about your choices. Yeah, I'll let it through. Yeah! No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe this. All right. Second main. Command tower. 
Tap a green, cast Sol Ring. Wow, the most Karen card. Mm. I'd like to speak to your manager. <laughs> All right. Graham! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then four mana, I'm going to cast Null Mage Shepherd. This is a four mana, two, four. Tap four untapped creatures you control to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Mm. Oh, that card seems getting a token deck. Yeah. Pass. All right. I will untap. I will draw. Rip boots. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, I'm helping other team. <laughs> Remember, our gimmick. We have to win. Ah, <laughs> oh, bus, I'm helping the other team. <laughs> Matt, just switch the audio there. <laughs> you can do that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this planes. I'm going to go ahead and I think just tap two planes to play this arcane signet. And then I am going to break with tradition and attack surge. Yay! Wait, the tradition is to attack surge. That is just following tradition. Oh, I thought the tradition was we would team up and the two headed giant. I'd thing. like neither of these traditions. There's but another tradition. Where I attack you, you for two okay. in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Our opponent's there. divided pass, and weak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, now it's time to strike him down. Yeah. Right, pass the turn. Sure. On your end step, I'm going to tap for one, and Thermo Alchem is still paying everybody. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sick. We're well, not allowed to make that joke anymore in case we get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> we get one. God, there's so many things that demonetize us. We get yeah. one for fair use, yeah. I'm going to play a swamp, uh, and I'm just going to tap for five, mm -hmm. and... This card, to me, is like the epitome of intro pack and black. Uh, I'm going to play Indulgent Tormentor. Ooh. What is that? It's a 5-3 with flying, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I draw a card unless target opponent sacks a creature or pays three life. I just remember seeing this card at like the front of like so many like intro packs and stuff hmm. like that for standard or yeah, like this is what magic. black does. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it, the other one, there's also that one that's like, they, you can make somebody draw a card and they lose one life, but this card, I don't know. I just see it as, like, black. Okay. Hmm. Uh, and then go ahead. Ooh, actually. You can give it the boots. I can yeah. give it the boots. <laughs> yeah. I think I might do that, actually. Yeah. Um, who's got the most life? Kathleen. Kathleen. Right, but we're friends, so James. Yeah, it seems fair. <laughs> like attacking me again? Let's That's go. Five? five? Yeah, five right. damage. James down to 34. Okay. Uh, and I will pass. All right, I would like to draw on this turn some kind of mana because I do not have anything to cast less than four and I only have three land. Uh -oh. And when I kept this hand, I was like three land, bunch of one, yeah, like two. four draws, yeah. Like, yeah, like I've got so many draws. Okay. <laughs> that was a good poker face. Yeah, I, don't I believe you. Like I have yeah. no idea what you drew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Black Lotus. Uh, Ooh, that good, would be nice. Good intro yeah. deck. Wow. <laughs> I know only violence. Uh, I attack with my death toucher. Whomst? Uh, surge. Oh, I'll block with my 1-1 one, one lifelink. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, well. Right. That's okay. It'll come back. I gain one life. That was on purpose. For mm. sure. For sure. Zombies recur. Go ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> untap. 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 Draw for the turn. I'll save you for later. All right, which of these enter play tapped lands do I want to play now? Let's go with the Elf Ham Palace. Mm, ham. Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. no love no. Elf Ham. <laughs> All my homies love Elf Ham. Yeah. <laughs> James, good friends with cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> don't like that. But elves aren't human. Oh, so wait. Elfables? Does that make them better or worse to eat? I Hold guess. On. I kind of <laughs> consider cannibalism like anything in like the humanoid zone. But I oh. guess it's I guess cannibalism is only if you eat your own species. But yeah. just humans eating elves. Or is, dwarf or Yeah, elves. seems like, a little well, I'm not saying it's not weird. I'm just saying it's probably not technically by the book cannibalism. Mm. Ah, right. Yeah, we're going dictionary definition. Yeah. Right. So when I'm in, when James is in jail, going for cannibalism, yeah, yeah. and Kathleen's his lawyer, she's getting get me out. Uh, I believe yeah. you'll find <laughs> the, the textbook definition. Yeah. yeah. No, just murdering a sentient creature is the problem <laughs> yeah. here. It's only third degree murder. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Ben Ben, I attack you for four triggered ability. I make a soldier. Uh, so you have what? A two four and a two two. Sure. I'll block your commander with my O three and take two. All right. Ben Ben down to thirty eight. Second main, pass. <laughs> Excellent. I untap. I draw a card. Surprise, it's an island. 
I have some. I mean, that is, so, I, so am I. I didn't actually know it was there. It's a <laughs> book. Uh, if you I knew, have, I'd be more concerned, actually. Yeah. yeah. I have five mana. Five, yes, five. <laughs> Uh, five mana. Yeah. Five I have mana. five mana amongst my mana producers. I For the going... audience's benefit, James doesn't play a lot of commanders, <laughs> so this is or, this is learning. Or magic. All right, I tap four of my mana to cast uh, Thunderclap Wyvern. Uh, it's, uh, it has flash, so I could have cast it whenever, but that's fine. <laughs> Uh, other creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one. So you're Very like good. sneaking in with your flyers. Yeah, that's my plan. Uh, Trying to be sneaky, but the thunderclap of your wyvern is alerting everyone else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kathleen, I attack you for three in the air. I take three. All right. Pass. I ping everybody for one on your end step. I'm going to untap, and then at the beginning of my upkeep, I draw a card unless target opponent sacks a creature or pays three life. Oh, it's target opponent. Yes. Okay. Um, Kathleen, oh. would you like to pay three life or sack a creature so I don't draw a card? Or oh, I... no, you can draw your card. <gasps> oh. Buddies! <laughs> All right, so I'll draw a card for that trigger and then draw for, whoa. <laughs> Poker face. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I'm kind of in the same spot. I'm kind of missing a little bit in the way of mana. Um, so... So, I mean, I'm not Hit, obviously set, for different, man, for different set man with it. enough mana to cast the commander. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're playing commander. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting to the part where I kind of just want to chill. You have a two, three flyer yeah. and some things. I'm actually just going to big chill with my mana here and oh. uh, and pass to you, Kathleen. Okay. Air well, superiority and no attack. Well, it's interesting. As I'm going through these cards, uh, it's actually not really a turn sideways deck as much as it's a, you don't want to attack me. Oh. Kind of oh. like stand here and I force people to fight each other, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Go ahead. Land. Hey! hey. You know what? I'll take it. It enters the battlefield tapped. Yeah. I gain a life. Yeah. Ooh. But... That means next turn I can cast a <laughs> Watch out! Put you on watch. <laughs> and with that debilitating threat deployed, Surge, it's your turn. Woo! Untippity, untappity. Draw for the turn. Oh. Which of these Interplay tapped lands will I play this time? Let's go with Blossoming Sands. Taps are greeny whitey, and I gain a life when it enters play. I'm having flashbacks of the game where you played the five color deck and every land came in tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting beat up in that one. I like to go just a little bit slower. Okay, you know? yeah. You he know? wants to savor the murder. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have a two, three. Yeah. I have a five, three. What do you have, Kathleen? I have a one, one with hexproof and menace and uh, a one, four. Yeah, but if I, I can't. And I've got a rock. I've got a rock. I want a rock. Rocks. Da -dum -dum. All right. No, we're going to get Dom monetized, right? Yeah. Dom no. monetized. Dom monetized. Uh, so if I attack anybody, I lose my commander, which is bad. And I want to lose my commander. Why would you lose your commander? Well, because you can double block. Yeah. James can kill it. Ben can kill it. Then don't attack with your commander? Yeah, then I simply can't attack with my commander. Yeah. Maybe I'll block it with my O3. <laughs> Maybe I won't block. I just want to attack and I can't. Here's what we're going to do instead. Nothing. Pass. Cool. This is a very active I will, prep cycle I will here. Just wait until I can start casting spells. I'm going <laughs> to do everything. Uh -oh. Ooh. All right, James. Okay. Check this out. Check him. Gravitational shift. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, <laughs> creatures with flying get plus two plus oh. Creatures without flying get minus two minus oh. <laughs> what do you got to do to destroy an enchantment? I need... Uh, one more untapped creature. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, I have a flyer. Oh, this is a 7-3. <laughs> oh, good lord. It's not you control, right? It's yeah, just, it's just creatures. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Symmetrical effects, baby. Look upon my walls and tremble. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and send one at Kathleen and one in Surge. I'm going to send uh, four at Kathleen and five at Surge. I'm going to play the politics game, and I'm going to let you know right now, if you attack me, I'm going to destroy your enchantment. I mean, I'd assume you were going to destroy my enchantment anyway. Well, I could not destroy why... your enchantment. Mm, I don't see that happening, so <laughs> I attack you for five. My favorite part about the fact that James doesn't play a lot of Commander <laughs> yeah. is he's immune to politics. Yeah, I don't, he's like, I do not I care. don't do the, do I don't do the We're politics playing things. Magic the Gathering as it's intended. Yeah. All right, well then, I have effects before damage happens. Uh-huh. I'm going to cast White Sun Zenith. X is three, so uh -huh. white, white, white. 
and three cool cats any responses i do have a response because i get the opinion that you're about to do some tappity shenanigans to kill the enchantment using your friendo that's my guess anyway yeah yeah so i'm gonna tap thermo alchemist okay we all okay. take one uh and then i'm gonna cast soul shatter which is each opponent sacks a creature or planeswalker with the highest mana value among creatures or planeswalkers they control and that's gonna untap my thermo alchemist each player. Each player, or each opponent. Oh, it's not. Oh. Sacks a creature right. or planeswalker with the highest mana value. Okay, so the Lord is gone. My Null Mage Shepherd is gone. Goodbye, Gleaming Overseer. All right, unfortunately, that's the one that was attacking me. <laughs> yeah. No, that was attacking no, no, Kathleen, yeah, so that I'm was still attack. You're attacked. still getting attacked, but only uh, for uh, four now. Yeah, great. All right, Ben so just saved you a point of damage. That, thank you, Ben. Yeah. That's very sweet of you. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, White Sun will finish resolving. Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. All right, I have three cats. White Sun Zenith goes into the graveyard. I no longer have the ability to do any shenanigans, so I just take four. I yeah. go to 31. I have so many cats. I mean, if it makes you feel better, boy, can you attack me for a lot of the damage. No, you can't because no, it's all zero, zero two. Two. <laughs> yeah. I just have an army of cat walls. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen gravitational shift in a long yeah, time. Neither this card's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. uh, ben, go ahead. On your end step, I will ping everybody once more. Mm -hmm. uh, then I will untap. And on my upkeep, uh, let's say... James, mm -hmm. would you like to sacrifice a creature or lose three life? No. Yes. Draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. And draw another card. Oh boy, I wish I was drawing mana. Uh, okay, this time... <laughs> I'm going to tap Thurgamo Alchemist and ping everybody for one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to cast Siphon Mind. So Siphon Mind, uh, let me actually, sorry. That's my music reference. Siphon Mind. Each other player discards a card, and I draw a card for each card discarded this way. And that's going to untap Thermo Alchemist. I'm going to discard Scourge of Nell Toth because I can pay it, I can cast it from my graveyard by sacrificing creatures. Cool. Avazin's Pilgrim. Okay. True Conviction. I don't know what that is, but what? Like that that six man enchantment? All creatures you control have double strike, strike and life link? link. Yeah, bruh. It's the one card I can't cast right now. So yeah, you draw one of... mana and you can cast yeah, it. Yeah, but knowing my luck, I won't. So <laughs> you only ever draw lands. <laughs> no, that is your luck. No, 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 no. My curse is that I always draw lands except for when I don't draw lands. <laughs> <laughs> That's just magic. <laughs> like... That's what I keep trying to explain to chat, but they don't listen. And don't you draw understand. three? That's a six for one. I draw three. You're gonna have to go to cleanup at the end of your turn. Oh, boohoo for him. Yeah. Uh, not if I play this command tower. Oh, God. Uh, which puts me at seven cards. So, yeah, I'm a. Uh... Oh, should I just attack? No, I mean, I have a seven three. It would be rude not to. Oh, would it? I mean, I played this for you. Oh, so I could do damage? Yeah. Hmm. Specifically, could... not to me, though. <laughs> okay. Search. <laughs> oh, I see why people like politics now. <laughs> That's fun. But to me, oh. politics are bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm at 22. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll pass the turn. I feel like things are not going super well. There's too much stuff on the board. New two-headed giant. Us versus them. <laughs> We could be besties. I like how Kathleen wasn't implying that she was looking to do anything like that yeah. or like make a thing. You're just like, she said a word. I need an ally. <laughs> I, need I need an ally. I, I, I think that's fair. I think that we, I think there's too much stuff happening yeah. here. Yeah, good. Sorry. I'm going to play Crippling Fear. Choose a creature type. Creatures that aren't of the chosen type get minus three, minus three till end of turn. Choosing zombie. Wait, this is bad for me. <laughs> mm. It's bad for everyone except me, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's probably going to happen. So I, in response, uh, will tap Thermo Alchemist. Yeah. Yep. Everybody can take a point of damage. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to tap for two mm -hmm. uh, and play Rakdos Charm, mm. uh, which will untap my Thermo Alchemist. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to choose the uh, mode Exile Target Player's Graveyard. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to exile mm. Kathleen's Graveyard. <laughs> a little bit of revenge. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to tap Thermo Alchemist one more time. Yeah before it inevitably has its uh, grand downfall. Okay. All right, so your sorcery is going to resolve. Yep. So everybody gets minus three, minus three. Goodbye, my sweet tokens. Thermo Alchemist, you did real good, pal. You did very <laughs> you did good. Really good. Yeah. I love this card, man. 
I want to attack you, but James's enchantment means it's useless. But I'm going to attack you to send a message. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, I probably your, deserve it. <laughs> watch your back, Ulmer. <laughs> Uh, I actually forgot to sacrifice the cleric in response to Kathleen's sorcery, so I'm going to do that and hit uh, Ben's graveyard. Okay, so these will be gone, and then everything would technically die, so Thermal Alchemist and Indulgent Tormentor. So yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Works for me. Cool. All right, untap, untap, untap. Draw for the turn. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. It's another it, land that it, it just tapped. tapped. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Introducing the Gray Pelt Refuge. Taps for green and white. Enters play tapped and gains me a life. Sure to wish I had an Avinson's Pilgrim or something I could cast. I guess I can bring back my commander if I have nothing else to do. So I'll pay command tower a green and two for the tax off of that. So I'm doing something. Okay. There you go. All right. Pass the All turn. Right. Untap. Draw. Hey, look at that. It was that land that you said I was probably going to draw so I could cast my six mana enchantment. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it. I'm sure you have other equally good plays instead of a game ending enchantment. It's unfortunate that White is definitely not known for bringing enchantments back <laughs> from the graveyard, so you're kind of out of luck there. Yeah, Ooh. let's go ahead and tap six. Play Sphinx of Enlightenment. It's a five-five flyer. When it enters a battlefield, target opponent draws a card, and I draw three cards. Ooh, ooh, Can I me, have a card? Me, me. Um, let's go ahead and say one, two, three, four, five, okay. six. I'm good at the politics. Three. You're yours. getting very good at it. <laughs> wow. You're like it's wow. like watching a commander player <laughs> groan in a bat. <laughs> what if he's been good all along? We've been underestimating <laughs> that's him. That's the That's my secret. Oh no. Uh, go ahead, Ben. That's why he won't play with us. It's too powerful. Yeah. yeah he's like, I don't want to play with the babies. <laughs> James has been spiking commander tables behind our back this whole time. They have his picture up at like Command Fest, and it's just like if Don't you see this man run. run. Yeah. <laughs> he says it's a seven, but he's actually a nine. <laughs> Wanted for crimes against the table. <laughs> Surely nobody has the ability to bring out anything with haste, right? Uh, you mean like green, in white in, in general? general. Lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm the haste deck. Yes. So, so you've got the booties. You got the haste. I'm yeah. gonna place do something that's potentially. It might. It might. It might be bad for me. Okay. Oh no. Introduce. No, actually, it's it's definitely bad for me. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to tap for six and play a geode rager. Uh, okay. What? So it's a 4-3 with first strike with landfall. It would be great if I had a land, but okay, unfortunately. Okay. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I go to each creature target player controls. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. And I put the booties mm, on it. Yeah. All right, I realize this is like a 2-3. Yeah, it's, it's tiny because of the gravitational shift. Gravity's just different on this board. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity's built different, bro. Um, yeah, well... Should it spend six mana for a two six, three? It's got first strike and a cool ability. That is true. All and right. shroud, so you can't do anything else to it. <laughs> Sick. All right, go ahead, Kathleen. <laughs> May you draw more lands. Ah. <sighs> That's the sigh of drawing a land. <laughs> no. Ah, the sweet release of drawing mana finally. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use my four mana that I have, and I'm going to cast my commander, and I would like everyone to leave them alone. Uh, <laughs> just... You also have an ETB ability. Uh, well, uh, when I enter this battlefield, I mill four cards. One. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Two. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Not like this. Oh, no. Okay, okay, three. Uh... <laughs> Four. A. A. Fleshy B. Fleshy B. Fleshy B. Fleshy B. All right, go ahead. Love my fleshy bees. <laughs> Sorry, what was your commander's name? My commander's name is Gisa and Geralf. Or Gisa and Geralf, or any combination of hard and soft Gisa you desire. I feel like it's got to be Gisa, and then I feel like Geralf. Like, they, they should have this. It shouldn't be Gisa and Geralf. That's weird. Could be Gisa. <laughs> and Gyrolf. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, English. I mean, I don't know. These kids are kind of weird, so maybe their parents did do them oh, dirty. Yeah, they could be art kids. <sighs> maybe Gisa and Garolf isn't even their real names. That's yeah. just their chosen artist <laughs> hashtag. I do think that their parents are uh, actually still alive. Oh. Uh, I ditched together. I, yeah, I well, think, alive in some way. I think canonically there's even a card that has that, like, Gisa... Stitch or Geralt like stitched their mom or something together oh, or something. Oh, okay. I think they like did do something to their parents. I don't know, but I could be off base. 
It's kind of a messed up plane they're from anyways. Oh, yeah. yeah. Innistrad, I, I don't know, On man. Innistrad, these people are actually just, like, pretty well adjusted, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're happy. Yeah. They're pursuing what they love. They're they are not thriving. Undead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of job fulfillment yeah. on Innistrad. All they're, right. The, they're independent artists. Yes. Oh. Untippity. Uh, draw tappity. Guess what time it is? That's right. Time for another Enders Play Tap Green White Land. America's favorite game show. <laughs> this is uh, Canopy Vista. It would be untapped if I had another basic, but I only get non basics at Enter Play Tapped. Mm. Let's cast this uh, zero 02. <laughs> <laughs> Casting the Selesnia Guild Mage. It's got a bunch of relevant abilities that make more zero power creatures. So Kathleen has a 2 4. Everybody has. I can't even attack. I can't even make more zero power creatures. I mean, maybe somebody won't block. I don't believe that for a second. I won't block. What's the worst that can happen? You have enough mana to recast your commander. Literally on the same turn. Yeah. Yeah, but, but then I can't do other stuff. I won't block. All right, I attack Ben. Yay! Yeah, well, first you have a trigger. I have a triggered ability. I won't block. Oh, my heart. I was going to get got. Yeah. Wheeler did that to me once. Did he? Yeah. Did he actually <laughs> wham jangle you like oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's some like... One of the game, too. Uh, <laughs> that's was... some like older kid at the LGS like <laughs> nonsense right there. It's like, sure, little guy, I won't block. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I have another zero power creature. Oh, my heart. My deck is doing what it's supposed to do. But it's got lifelink. Yeah. <laughs> you can gain zero life. I can. I so pass. Ben takes two. No, no it's a ben, zero two. It's a zero two, yeah. <laughs> That's why he let it through. Mm -hmm. uh. All right. I untap. It's commander damage. I though. draw. All right. Let's go ahead and play this planes. Could you disenchant your own enchantment? Uh, I I mean, y y well, no, because I don't have a way of doing that. Okay. Wait, that's not true. I could. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> Let's play an Angler Turtle. Hexproof, 5-7. Uh, creatures your opponent control attacks each turn, uh, each combat of Fable. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh. Neat. No. Oh. no. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ben, I'm going to go ahead and attack you for seven in the air. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I take it. I feel like I have deserved this somehow. They're at 31. Go ahead. All right. I have a risky play. Come but at me. I'm doing it with the hope that I draw a land. Oh, all right. I'm tapping for six Okay. to play Covetous Jewel. So when it enters the battlefield, I draw three cards. Okay. It also taps for three mana of any one color. And whenever one or more creatures an opponent controls attacks me and they're not blocked, that player draws three cards and takes control of it and untaps it. Ooh. Okay. So you can come get me. <laughs> come get my jewel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, I come get my jewel. So I'm going to draw three. This is like the Mega Monarchy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I did it. Huzzah. Okay. okay. I actually really did it. So I'm going to play a Swamp. Uh -huh. Geode Rager triggers. I goad each creature target player controls. Mm -hmm. I'm goading your dudes. So you have to attack somebody besides me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I am going to play a Soul Ring. Ooh. off of that, and then I'm going to tap the Soul Ring and play a Talisman of Indulgence. Ooh. Those are the three that I drew. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now you got mana. Now, now I've got, got mana. mana. Yeah, and then with the last bit of my mana, I'm actually going to tap this Talisman for a red and ping myself for one, and then this for three black and play my commander. Okay. And when my commander enters the battlefield, until my next turn, creatures my opponents control attack each combat if able, and they have to attack a creature other than me. Or oh, opponent you, other oh, than you me. protected yeah. your egg. I protected my egg. Okay. You all are forced to fight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life, and I gain a life. Okay. Oh. And through that, I actually managed to get to six oh. <laughs> cards in my hand, so I don't actually have to pass, although... You do have to attack. The turtle, oh, right. the turtle I do, says the you turtle might. You have to attack. You must fight. You have I to must attack. Fight. Uh, so, Surge, mm. I am coming at you with this 2-3 two, three. Two, three first strike. You gave me this 1-1, one, one, and maybe you'll <laughs> also take it from me. Or I could just take 2. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, and then I'm going to take the booties and put them on a Yep. Uh, uh, and pass you, Kathleen. All right, what do I want to do here? Win. 
attack. Ooh. Well, like a, fifth, yeah. <laughs> a fifth land is good. Ooh. That's very helpful, to be completely honest with you. I recommend casting Fleshy Bee every turn. Yeah, I think I might just cast Fleshy Bee uh, because I can do that. I have cast Fleshbag Marauder. Trigger. Each player sacrifices a creature. I'm going to sacrifice my 1-1 one, one zombie army token. I'm going to respond by activating Celestia Guildmage to make the shortest lived sapling in the history of magic. Hello, sapling. Goodbye, sapling. I'm going to sack my Geode Ranger. All right. Yeah, I'm going to ah. sack the turtle. The turtle is gone! Yeah. All right. We only have one effect that's making us fight each other <laughs> yeah. instead of two. I have to attack. I can't attack Ben. Mm. But James doesn't have any creatures anymore, yeah. does he? Well, I have a creature. I just tap down. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, in that case, with my creature that kind of t that has to attack, I yeah. do attack you, James. So two I commander two. damage to James. Ah, commander damage. I think that's the first time commander damage has been dealt. Yeah. I don't have to discard. Thank goodness. Um, go ahead, surge. All right. Untap. Untap. Welcome back to everyone's favorite game show. Will he draw another enters play tapped land? That is way too long. You need to workshop that name for the, the game show. That is, that's, that's fair. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it turns out we were right. Hey! Temple of Plenty. Hey! <laughs> Gain a life. Uh, no, this is the one that's oh. prize. So oh, I get to see, yeah. I mean, if it's another entrance play tapped land, do I leave it on top? For the lulls, yes. I will leave that on top. That is profoundly spicy. All right. Uh, I, am, I am forced to engage in combat. Yes. James... Yeah, you attack me for zero? Take zero. <laughs> I could pump, but why? Yeah. Hey, you could deal damage. You could, you could deal one damage, right? Mm -hmm. I, I would deal two damage. Yeah, you would deal two. Yeah. I mean, what else are you doing? You got a 1-1. One, one. Well, I, I can make more. Yeah, you do get a 1-1, one, one, right? Oh! I do get a 1-1. One, one. No, I, I, think, I think it's better to play the long game. Mm -hmm. Pass. All right. I will go ahead and untap and draw. Now remember, you're double goaded, which means you have to attack yourself. Mm, <laughs> that's cool. I had no idea that's how that worked. <laughs> I'm a judge and I didn't even know that's how that worked. <laughs> wow. All right, let's go ahead and play this island. Another land, how peculiar. Yeah. I guess we will go ahead and attack Kathleen for seven. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a more iconic duo than me playing a blue and black commander deck and getting absolutely mana screwed. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go ahead. It's not even ahead. the first time this has happened in this show. <laughs> and play Jubilant Skybonder. Uh, so it's a 2 2 flying uh, human wizard. Creatures you control with flying have spells your opponent casts that target this creature, cost two more to cast. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Kangi's Lieutenant. Mm. Uh, flying 1-1, one, one, whenever it attacks, attacking creatures with flying, get plus one, plus one until end of turn. It also has Encore. What does Encore do again? Uh, exile this card from your graveyard for each opponent. Create a token copy that attacks that opponent this turn of Fable. They gain haste, sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a source. Yeah, that seems really good with the attack trigger, though. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Hmm. I have one creature, but how many creatures are on the board? I have three. I have four. I have two. Math says that that is nine, ten. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> we all worked that out together. Yeah. <laughs> ten creatures. Writes down Blasphemous Act? No. <laughs> <laughs> Best poker face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's so bad for my deck. Yeah, it's not great for sure. The wombo combo of gravitational shift and, and uh, okay. Hey, let's do the funny play. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to combat. Yeah. So, Kathleen, that's a 1-1? One, one? Yeah. Okay, I will attack you with my 2-3. I block. Sure, you got it. I just wanted to attack before it is definitely sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> uh, but first... I have a little fun thing. Uh, I'm going to tap for six and play Sunbird's Invocation. So it's going to cost me six mana to doost this. What does this card do again? So Sunbird's Invocation uh, is whenever I cast a spell from hand, reveal the top X cards of my library where X is that card's uh, mana value. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I may cast a spell with mana value X or less from among the cards revealed this way without paying its mana cost. It's just better Cascade? Uh, because you get to pick. I get to pick, yeah. 
Hmm. <laughs> James, mm -hmm. <laughs> I see two mana over there. Yeah. Mm, is the grand finale of this big blasphemous act joke that you're going to uh, negate me? Mm -hmm. I cast blasphemous act. I do nothing. Okay. So blasphemous act is on the stack. Yep. Uh, so it's god damn it. <laughs> it's nine mana. So I reveal the top nine cards from my library. So we have a what is reign of the pit. <laughs> Each creature, each player sacrifice a creature, create an XX black demon with flying where X is the total power. Well, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, not, great, yeah, not, <laughs> not very right good right now. Uh, myriad landscape, a swamp, swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Spell bomb. Three Sorry, more. we got three more. Yep. Chaos warp. Okay. okay. A braid. And a swamp. You know, I've uh, <laughs> I've hit better things. Yeah. So what do you get to do now? So get I get to... to cast one of these spells. Okay. Um, so I think what I might actually just end up doing is either chaos warping. Please, chaos warp the gravitational shift. Please. It's not actually, I don't hate it. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't have a single flyer in my deck. <laughs> um, then get some with reach. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll still be tiny. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to play this chaos warp okay. off it. And I'm actually going to target my own uh, soul ring. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to shuffle this in here and turn my ring into something great. Yeah. Uh, all right. And it turns out that this soul ring was a swamp. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> well, it depends on what you value colored, man. <laughs> uh, and then, so this goes there, and then all these friendos go to the bottom in a random Ooh. order. That was a... Remarkably poor stack. Yeah, it was uh, not great. Uh, but now Blasphemous Act's going off. Yeah. Ooh, that's 13 damage? 13 damage to everything. So I, I probably can't pump the Guild Mage enough to save that. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> all right, all right. Bye, Gisa. Goodbye, Sorry. Brawl. See you <laughs> maybe if I draw a sixth land. As I was getting this, I threw Carter in the bin and put Greaves <laughs> into my <laughs> commander spot. <laughs> Uh, okay, great. Wow, I still have all this mana, so I... <laughs> oh, uh, I've got seven mana. I'm gonna cast Sepulchral simple, 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 Primordial. Sepulchral. Sepulchral, thank you. Thank uh, you, I have many years of listening to metal to... Uh, so it is a 5-4 with Intimidate, and when it enters the battlefield, for each opponent, I may put up to one target creature from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield. And... Ooh, tick, pick Fleshbag Marauder. Fleshy B! Oh, right. You've only got one, and that's going to make... Shouldn't have wiped my graveyard out earlier. Should have had some good stuff. That's less good. But while that is on the stack, we have another Sunbirds invocation to is go this through. Is every spell? It's whenever you cast a spell from your hand. <laughs> so we're going to go seven deep. Seven deep this time. Burnished Heart. <laughs> Wayfarer's Bobble, <laughs> Commander Sphere, I'm feeling a theme here. Uh, Karvek the Merciless. When an opponent casts a spell, it deals damage equal to that mana spell value to any target. Mountain, Brash Tauner's in this deck. Oh, oh baby. baby. And Wild Ricochet. Uh, so you may cast a spell with mana value X or less. Well, seven is seven or less. So I guess I'll get a free Caravac out of it. Okay. That seems pretty cool. And then these get shuffled up. And now I'm going to grab a creature from everybody's bin. You can choose Guild Mage, Pilgrim, or Shepherd. So I choose your friend what destroys enchantments and stuff. Uh, and I'll definitely choose the Sphinx of Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. So these will come down. Now everybody, ha everybody has to sacrifice a creature. I sacrificed Dunch. the Spender. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And so w and when Sphinx enters the battlefield, yeah. also, target opponent draws a card and you draw three cards. Kathleen, you can draw a card. Oh. We're going to help you out there. It's oh. not a land. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah. But no, no, no. I got you to a land. Yeah. The next one's oh. a land. Yeah. Uh, so, and then I draw three. <whistles> Magic the Gathering. <laughs> And then I will put the lightning gleaves, gleaves on Caravac. I'll respond to that. Okay. Yeah, Caravac has to die. I'll cast Path to Exile. Sure. So Path is I go get a land. Yeah, Exile target creature. Its controller may search for a basic land, put it on the battlefield tapped, and you also have a trigger from Caravac because I cast a spell. Right. So I get to deal one damage to anything. I'll take the one. Uh, I do it to yeah, search. Yeah. All right. So that's exiled. I go grab a land. Put onto the battlefield, and I think I played a land this turn. I don't remember, so I'm just not going to. 
I will put the Greaves on the Sphinx. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Path to exile. <laughs> I'll put the Lightning Greaves on uh, on the Sphinx while I'm shoving up. I found a mountain here, and I'll pass to you, Kathleen. Land, land, land. No. <laughs> I've done all I could. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Okay. Well, now I have to definitely have to pitch cards. What can I even cast? I can't cast this. I can't cast this. I feel like I actually don't have anything good to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting some zombies into my graveyard, and then maybe I'll start being able to get them back. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to discard this Spark Reaper and this Grave Spawn Sovereign. Maybe I can protect myself if someone comes for me. Go ahead, Surge. All right. Gravespawn Sovereign is not a nice card to look at with your eyes. <laughs> Boy. He's got like that alien thing coming out, but like in his mouth is just like Ooh, another zombie. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, I like the alien thing freaks me out, but if it also, if the tongue had little arms, it's the little <laughs> arms that is, it's like the whole body. <laughs> the tongue comes out and flips you off. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, untap, draw. That's the card I left on top. Sure, I'm glad. So, uh, am I dead if Ben swings out? One, two, three. I, I only take seven, 10. Yeah, yeah, I have seven, uh, 12. Well, no, because these are. So right, that's yeah. zero yeah. and three. Yeah, yeah. So still, I, still love the enchantment. Yeah, ten. All right. Well, Amara, come on down. Six mana, two two. Oh, what a deal in this economy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are the chances I untap with Amara? Four percent. Yeah. That's not very good. It's not very, <laughs> it's not very good that at is, all. That is so low. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is the card I scribed to the top, which would have been better. Uh, it's called Presence of Gone. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's a three mana uh, aura. Enchant creature. Tap enchanted creature to create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. And then whenever it becomes tapped to make a 1-1 one, one soldier, you know, one hand washes the other. But they're all zero power. <laughs> so my zero two can start pooping out zero ones. <laughs> and once we get around having to attack, so... We'll just see if I get wrapped again. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> is that the phrase? One hand washes the other? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That's sure. just one hand can't wash itself. So they, they help uh, each other. Sure can. I do that frequently. Yeah. You should try <laughs> you should try two hand washing. That's fair. Oh wow, that would be yeah. good. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. god what what it does. I know. Yeah. You learn something every commander game. <laughs> That's why it might be so stupid. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's play this uh Moreland Haunt. Oh, that's a good land. It's a very good land. That's a lot of mana I have. It I'm is a lot go of mana. Ahead How's that and feel? Pretty, pretty okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so we could kill Surge. That sounds cool. We why could. Don't, why don't you kill Ben instead? I can't kill Ben. But we could kill Surge. Or Kathleen. Hmm. We could team up you and could do, do this. You do 26 sure. damage to kill no, Kathleen? No, I, I can deal... 12, mm -hmm. and Ben could deal the rest, right? You have, you have the Lieutenant, Because right? I have the Lieutenant, so I can come back and attack for 4, 8, 12. The Lieutenant is scary, but not for one person. It's scary for everyone, comrade. Yeah, because Ben, you can attack for 10? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just do what I haven't done yet, which oh. is cast my commander. <laughs> Speria, Supreme Judge. 6-4 Flyer, when a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker you control, you may draw a card. 8-4 Flyer. 8-4 Flyer. Blech. Ben, go ahead. Sure. I will untap and draw. How'd you get back up here? <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> I am going to do things. <laughs> I'm going to play a Mountain for the turn, mm -hmm. uh, and then tap 2 red to play an Arcane Signet. Mm. Okay. Uh, Sunbird's trigger. I flip yeah. two. If I get a two or less, we've got a Dredge the Mire and a Swamp, so I can cast neither of these. So they're just going to go in a random order <laughs> <laughs> to the bottom. That enchantment is each spell. That's so busted. It's a good. It, I it's mean, it's a so seven, good. It, it's a six mana enchantment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that wasn't what I expected things to come off of. What I did expect things to come off of was Magnetic Force. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's an eight mana spell. Uh, so there's four, five, six, seven. <laughs> it just kind of stopped. Like, yeah. <laughs> six is enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, it says it costs eight, but I prefer I... to pay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't see fives, I see threes. <laughs> so magnetic force is a seven seven. At the beginning of each upkeep, it uh, bolts any each? target. Yeah. Good. <laughs> um, so that's on the stack. Sunbird's invocation triggers. I flip eight. Uh huh. Smoldering marsh. Ooh, Kazool is a fun one. Uh, mountain. Theater of Horrors is a fun one. Uh, Two more, I think. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Omnixilus, Omnixilus is a fun one. Uh, oh, yeah, should I just take the free Planeswalker? That seems pretty good. I mean, I feel like I have almost assuredly become the arch enemy, and I understand <laughs> that. Mm. So maybe I should just lead into it. Yeah, with the uh, demon. I'm going to play Omnixilus for free off of that. Um, and I guess as I'm shuffling and putting these on the bottom, Omnixilus is coming. I just say this because you've got open mana. Nothing. Okay. All right. Magmatic Force is also going to come. Um, so he has five loyalty counters on him, and I'm just going to minus three and destroy your commander. Mm hmm. Um, I would like to put the boots on Magmatic Force. Mm hmm. It's got the zooms. Uh, and I think I'm going to go seven, five, three, so that'd be 15 at, James, how many cards do you have in hand? Two. Two? Seven. One. Okay. Uh, I mean, it feels, it feels bad because I know you haven't been able to do much, but you've got the most cards in hand and potential to do things, so I'm going to hit you for 15, Kathleen. I am going to murder that Sphinx of Enlightenment. Ooh. All right, so murder is on the table. Yeah, you got it. All right. Goodbye. Here, you can have this back. <laughs> Love it. All right, so Kathleen's down to 18. Why didn't you do anything last turn, Kathleen? Because I knew I'd had to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> Second main, I will play this Nahil spell bomb that made its yeah, way back to the that's top. That's what I was wondering what you read through, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sunbird's invocation trigger. Yeah. <laughs> Archery to depravity. That is way too high. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. So now you're seeing the downside, <laughs> I oh. guess, of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. What was real, you? real I sad news. No bears. downside yeah. yet. Yeah. Tap for three and play a Vampire Nighthawk. It's triggers again. Triggers. Uh, Wayfarer's Bobble. Whatever that spiteful visions. At the beginning of each player's draw step, they draw an additional card. Whenever a player draws a card, it deals one damage to that player. Hmm. Well, it's sad to see that go, but I do get a free Wayfarer's Bobble, so that's mm -hmm. pretty sick. Um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> good, good. <Yeah. laughs> Important. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. All right. Upkeep trigger from Ben Ben. Yeah, I will... Free damage. Do to your commander, buddy. Ah, uh, a new presence of gone was too greedy. <laughs> it's less, it's more so that it's a thing on the board. <laughs> <gasps> it's the mana. Ba, 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 ba. Ba. All right. Well, now I have six mana, but I still have nothing I can do because Ben has a, Nihil, has, has a spell bomb on the table. And oh, I have a deck that cares about my graveyard. And I will say everything in my hand is like, hello, would you like to bring something back from the graveyard? I know how you feel. I've been looking at this gravitational shift and I'm the deck that makes one ones. <laughs> <laughs> I too know the pain of being hard countered. I will never complain because I've gotten to do a bunch of cool yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I die, sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play a Midnight Reaper because whenever a non-token creature you control dies, I get to draw a card. So maybe I will draw something. Heck Go yeah. ahead, Surge. All right. Untippity, untappity, draw for the turn. Oh, I miss my commander. <laughs> you could cast her again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ben could kill her again. Yeah. Then you could use all yeah. of your Yeah. What's she uh, Right, sorry. Upkeep trigger. Oh my god. Oh, uh, free damage. I shoot James for yeah. three. Ah, yeah. there we go. All right. All right. Let's piss everybody off equally. Yeah. yeah. So that the gate watch can assemble. <laughs> all right. What do we need to get rid of over on Ben's side? Bat? The enchantment. Yeah. I don't, I mean. The boots would also be very helpful to get rid of. I've got a lot of things that are spooky for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. So this is, wait. Oh, it's toughness. Oh, this changes everything. I cast citywide bust. I thought it was power. Destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> well, I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was power no. four. And because right. of this, it would have only hit like one of your creatures. So this, this wraths Ben's board, except Ex the vampire. vampire. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. I should probably pay mana for that too. Thanks, yeah. Serge. Yeah. 
Surely I have a response to this. Is it to cry? Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, so you get your friendo back. Hey. Magmatic Force and Sepulchre go to the bin. Uh, Vampire Night Hawk just looks around like John Travolta. <laughs> Where are my friends at? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd everybody go? All right. And then I'm going to cast Voice of Many. Uh, this is a four mana three three. When it enters the no, battlefield. No, sorry, it's a four mana one three. Fair. <laughs> four mana one three. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each opponent who controls fewer creatures than you. James. Oh. <laughs> uh, so wait. I miss my commander. In oh. response, I make a 1-1. <laughs> one -one. <laughs> it. Yes! Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Onboard tricks, man. You have to see it. <laughs> what did yeah. you do that for, Surge? Oh, go, James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, hard countered by James. You were supposed to be my friend. <laughs> we were supposed to be in this together. All right. Ben? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like an elephant? What? Uh, not at the expense of something cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, please, Beast Within. Generous gift. He's, oh. in, he's in white blue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not green. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. It's the color shifted version. <laughs> All right, Sunbirds is gone. Oh, yeah. the enchantment is gone. That's fair. So you're saying there's a chance. Saying there's a chance. Yeah. So that costs Realistically, me... now my board is not that freaky. No. God, no. For now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Winky face. Wait. If you attack him, you can take the egg. Oh, no, he has a flyer. That egg has not been passed around at all. You know who would do well with that egg is me. I love <laughs> that egg so yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good for everybody. You, you get to ancestral when you take it, I'm right? I'm keeping it safe. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm going to cast my uh, Avon Giggle Master first. OK. It's a 4-3. Actually, it's a 6-3. Enters the battlefield. You gain two life for each creature you control the flying. Four, to four, please. And Surge, I attack you for three. But if you attack him, you get the egg. I, he has a flyer. I have a flyer. You literally just said that. Yeah, but you could still block it and clear his board, and then Kathleen can take the egg. It's got first strike and death. No, no. it does not have death. It doesn't no, no, first no, no. strike. So no, it's, it's just got, fly yeah. and death. Oh. They would trade. Yeah, you could turn a token for the thing there. It's not a bad attack. But me? Yeah. I mean, I guess. All right, I'm at 15. Uh, go ahead, Ben. Seek. I untap. I will play this Temple of Malice. Uh, comes into play tap by Scry. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna uptick up Nexilis. Lose a life draw card. Lose a life draw card. Uh, okay, time to go back to arch villain status. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go again. Uh, I'm gonna tap for six, so that's three black. Uh, black. Red, red, doesn't really matter. So that's six mana. Uh, to play Rakshasa Debaser. So it's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, whenever it attacks, I put target creature card from defending player's graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. Hell yeah. Before I do anything, let's do something fun. Um, I'm going to tap for four and play a Wildfire Devils. Okay. So they're a 4-2. Uh, when they enter the battlefield and at the beginning of my upkeep, I choose a player at random. That player exiles an instant or sorcery card from my graveyard. I copy that card. Mm. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. God, Kathleen. That's so many good things. Yeah, so you but you get that, uh, you get to exile the instant or sorcery. So you oh. get to choose what I get. Oh, excellent. You can have crippling fear. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but what card do I get? <laughs> uh, choose creature type creatures that aren't the chosen type. Get minus three, minus three. That's an annoying one for me. Mm -hmm. Man, none of these are the same. Yeah, that's why I picked that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave that. Goodbye. I'm going to put the boots on the debaser. Mm -hmm. uh, and I be, to be a debaser. I'm frozen in copyright. <laughs> uh, I'm going to swing at James for, I guess it's four. And you get an attack trigger, or when do you get the creature? Uh, it's whenever I attack. Oh. So uh, I'm going to grab a dude from your bin. It's probably going to be that one what? The Sphinx and draw three Sphinx? again? Yeah, oh my I God. like that Sphinx. It seems pretty good. Uh, so this goes on to my side of the field. Serge, you can have a card. Yay! And I get to Ancestral. Again. <laughs> so, yeah, you've so got you... a 4-6 going your way. I mean, I think I just block. Block and trade? Yeah, block and trade. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Whee. Uh, I'm going to put the boots on the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. And I drew cards, so I might do something else now. I'm going to go ahead and play a Burnished Heart. Oh. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Inexplicably untapping with my Midnight Reaper. <laughs> a seven <laughs> land. land. Oh my god. Imagine Game's wide open now. Yeah. You're 27 still? Yeah, you're 29. No, I, I mean, I, well, yes, but <laughs> I felt like I've done uh, more damage has happened. Mm. Okay, seven mana. I'm going to be able to cast two spells this turn, Ooh. which is something I haven't done the whole game. I'm, I'm very excited. excited. I'm going to play Liliana, Untouched hey. by Death. Uh, she comes in with four loyalty, uh, and I'm just going to tick her up one to mill some cards. Okay. And uh, we'll see. I can mill three cards. If at least one zombie card is milled this way, like the Eternal Sky Lord, or this Temple of Deceit, <laughs> or this Necromantic Selection. Ooh. <laughs> but that was a zombie, so everybody is going to lose two life, and I'm going to gain two life. That's quite fun. And then I am going to... Attempt to cast Victimize, which is to choose two target creature cards in your graveyard and then sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tapped. I'm going to take Eternal Sky Lord and Fleshbag Marauder. Hey. Hey. I will never have a creature. Res <laughs> <laughs> Response? Nope. Okay, great. You got it. You keep your stuff. Okay. Woo. For now. Until it gets yeah. real good, I guess. <laughs> for him. All right. So Midnight Reaper goes to the graveyard. Victimized goes to the graveyard. Two creatures come back. They come back tapped. Eternal Skylord brings me a 2-2 zombie army, which flies because of Eternal Skylord. So technically, then it's a 4-2. Four, four mm. And Fleshbag Marauder. Boo. Oh, Fleshbag Marauder is <laughs> going to come in. So that means everyone's going to have to sacrifice a creature. I'm going to sacrifice Fleshbag Marauder. I'm going to give you back your woo. elephant. <laughs> I mean, woo. You, woo. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that! I've got more than one permanent on the board. All right, go ahead, Surge. I'm high on life. <laughs> but at what cost? I cost you a lot, like a 1 1? Yeah, but that's, the, that's, <laughs> that's all, the I, all had. I had. Yeah. That was everything. Draw for the turn. <laughs> Is Tapped land. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's another card that cares about how many creatures I have. Ah. You don't have any. You should get some creatures out. Yeah. <laughs> Amara cost me eight now. I mean, eight mana two twos kind of feel like how. Well, sorry, eight mana zero twos. <laughs> <laughs> Amara, come on down. Can I donate some boots to him so he can get <laughs> yeah. two creatures? I'll let it through. Uh huh. I'll also play this forest. <gasps> That's untapped. I know. America oh. hates it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This game show sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and then Kathleen's just going to fleshy B again. <laughs> that she could. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I, if only I could. Pass. All right. Untap. Okay. Mm <laughs> I have a singular play, and that is to bring back my commander. Whee! So Asperia comes back for eight. And I say pass. Okay. On your end step, I am going to tap for two and crack my way for a spobble. Uh, grabbing a... Sure. You cut right to sure, it. Sure, this yeah. mountain I cut to. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, trigger. It's yeah. wildfire devil time. We'll use the same thing. Oh, right. I thought it was one you just kill my commander again. Surge. Hi. Pick me an instant or sorcery. Oh, good. Uh, citywide bust. Uh, I'm not casting that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on, actually. Destroy all creatures of power four or greater. Mm. Toughness, Toughness four or greater. <laughs> How did you get it wrong twice? <laughs> uh, look, you put an idea in your head, and it just stays that way forever unless somebody corrects you. Um, so it would destroy your flyer, which is James's flyer, and James's flyer. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. All upside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For you, yeah. Um, no, I'm not going to cast it. Okay. Oh, Howard. Yeah. Uh, untap. <laughs> <laughs> Too many mana. Yeah. Too many Hard mana. Hard to untap all oh, of those man, lands. Oh man, what a problem. All right, draw for the turn. Ah, oh, too much mana. <laughs> Introducing the auto tapper. <laughs> Can your hands not hold all this mana? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I will. It'll mostly do okay. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card. 
off of Obnicthalus. You're down to 26. We're doing it, team. <laughs> he's, We're getting them. He, he's introduced his own lose condition. <laughs> <laughs> what a fool. 26 more turns? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to uh, thank your contribution and your contribution. Uh huh. You will not be contributing. <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> uh, no. So I'm going to tap for six mana. Uh, sure. Let's use this mana that I had over here conveniently. Uh, and cast Reign of the Pit, which is each player sacrifices a creature. I make an XX black demon creature token with flying, where X is the total power. <laughs> flying? Flying. Yeah. Power? Power. Okay. So we add up all of the power. Yeah. So zero. Zero. <laughs> Eight. Eight. One. One. Okay. So we're at nine. Uh, and I will throw in. Is it each player or each opponent? It's each uh, player. Oh, wow. Uh, I will throw in this Wildfire Devils. Ooh. It's, we keep giving him spells he doesn't want. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a uh, 10? 11. 11, 11. 11, 11, right. Which, which is a 13, 11 because of the stupid right. gravitational okay. shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think I can just murder people now. I, If you got a 13 power creature and I have 13 life, just finish me, please. Yeah. End this suffering. Uh, okay, I think it is time for murder times. So mm. here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to pay the encore cost <laughs> for the debaser, uh, which is eight, yeah. uh, which I can afford one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so here it comes on back. That's uh, more mana than I currently just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the Rakshasa gets uh, exiled, and I make three copies of it, one for each opponent. Okay. <laughs> so things are going to happen. Now I got to direct this damage in a smart way. <laughs> okay. I believe in you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Math is not my strong suit. Uh, but I. Oh, big same. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can do this in a smart way. Before I go to combat, though, I am going to put the boots on the demon. Ah, my death. Yeah. My death. <laughs> so, so he can scoot <laughs> along and come get people. That kills Serge on his own, but I'm not actually going to attack you with that because I have something else in store. Oh, I have something else in my... Yeah. You are sounding like the villain. <laughs> I am the villain. Yeah. yeah, that death would be too simple for you, Jaeger. So we're going to work these out in stacks because these have to attack each one of you. Yep. Okay. Okay. The Sphinx is going to come at Surge. So this is... We'll call this Surge stack, Kathleen stack, me stack. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it like yeah. clockwise. Yeah. So if we do it like this... Uh, that is seven and uh, four, which is 11 damage going at search, which I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. okay. Uh, the big demon is going to come with this stack over at Kathleen, which is 13 uh, in the air and an extra four, which means that's 15. That's 17. 17. Are you sure you don't want to attack Liliana, though? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to attack James with this pile. And then we have the triggered ability from the declared attack. Yes, yeah. the triggered ability from the declared attack. I'm going to make sure. a recommendation for you right now. Yeah. As soon as I die, you lose it. Voice of Many has an ETB that will draw you a card for if you have more creatures than your opponents. I, that sounds really good. Just let me take a quick little bit. Okay, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Not that I don't I have, trust you. I have nothing. You got nothing? I got nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, but I have heard good things about this Avicenna's Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. So I'll take I'll take that friend out. All right. So you'll have a triggered ability to draw three once it yeah. all is done resolving. All right. Here's all of the creatures in my graveyard. I recommend Fleshbag Marauder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's actually not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it clears uh, the one clear. It, it does kill way. Kathleen. Yeah. So I'm I am actually gonna take that fleshbag marauder. Fleshy B. Fleshy B. Are uh, these attacking? These are just no, they're entering. just yeah, 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 they're yeah, just okay. entering. Um and I will also take is this Whenever it enters the battlefield, two life for each creature with flying. That seems oh pretty good. Oh my god. So I'll take the Gaggle Master and All right. he's on down. Okay, so more triggers. All right, so you draw three cards. Uh, yes, so I'm going to draw three cards yeah. from Voice of Many. Then everybody sacks a creature. I'm going to sack Fleshbag Marauder. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then gain two life for every creature you control that has flying. One, two, three, four. So I gain eight life. Eight. All right, you're at 34. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damage. Damage. <laughs> All right. Well, blockers. Anybody have any effects before blockers? So right now, how much damage is going to Kathleen? Kathleen is taking uh, 17 damage. I would put her to two. Okay. Uh, this stack is doing a dead-on surge, which is seven... Uh, or not a dead-on yeah, surge. Yeah, you're just... also doing 
11. Th yeah, so she would be at two, I'd be at two. Mm -hmm. And then How James, are you doing the final two? I, we'll find out. Uh, Burnished Heart is a zero, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't attack with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but the Vampire Nighthawk is four, uh, okay. eight is coming your way. All right, before damage, does anybody have any effects? No. Nothing, Definitely. nothing. Do you have anything, Yes, James? because... Oh! Because there's... Gonna, yeah, because... Is he going to fog? What's he going to do? Well, I like... So, you you seem to really want to be out of this. I don't want you to be out of this. I cast Condemn on the Sphinx. Put target attacking creature on the bottom of its owner's library. Its controller gains life equal to its toughness. Yeah. So, Condemn is targeting the Sphinx. The Sphinx. To save Surge? To save Surge. I love him. I don't know how to appreciate this right now. This is so unexpected. <laughs> Let me die, turn out. <laughs> That's Surge on the card, actually. <laughs> no. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm in pain. What's more important? Killing Surge or... Huh. You can always kill me tomorrow. <laughs> but I wanted to kill you now. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, fine. All right, so Ben is going to gain five. how much life? Five life. Uh, Equal to toughness. toughness. Yeah, yep. five life. Ben's back up to 39. <laughs> Sick. All uh, right. Sure. Damage. So Kathleen will go down to two. Mm -hmm. I take just four now. So I yep. go to nine. Yep. And James take... takes eight, right? So James is at 17. Mm -hmm. Combat is over. Uh, Combat you, is over. You gain four more life from the Nighthawk. Right. Yep. 43. What you got now, Ben? Well, <laughs> let's see. Not actually. I, I was going to kill you next, <laughs> or at least two of you. Um, but this would only kill one of you. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to cast Fiery Confluence. So oh, modes. I can, yeah, I can choose the same mode more than once. I choose three modes. Uh, and I'll be choosing uh, Fiery Confluence deals two damage to each opponent. All right, so you're doing six damage to everybody? Six damage to everybody. Kathleen is dead. Three! Surge <laughs> goes to three. James goes to 11. Mm -hmm. All right. It's okay. We got this. Yeah. We got this. These go away. Let's go. Um... At the at the end of that, as I'm passing my turn to y'all, go for it. All right, welcome to America's favorite game show, drawing a tapped land. All right, what can my deck possibly do to stabilize in a situation like this? Setting it up for the big dramatic reveal. You cast your commander again. <laughs> An untapped land. Yeah. America hates it. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now what? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten mana, two, two. Yay. Sorry, sorry. Ten mana, zero, two. <laughs> okay. Pass. All right. Untap. Are you also top decking? Top decking. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. That's actually a really good card. Board, wait, board, wait, board, wait, board, wait, board, wait. Yeah. Wipe. I don't. It mm -hmm. gives us a turn, dude. Yeah, but I could kill you. Me? Yeah. With what? Oh, you could. You're not supposed to have seen that card. You could kill me. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> judge? Yeah, we're we're a team right now. Uh, James saved me. We're we're yeah. J <laughs> you're the judge. You're allowed to allow it. Yeah, yeah. I'll allow it. <laughs> Don't do this in a game, folks. Mm. Don't allow it. Don't listen to me. I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Did you save me just to kill me yourself? Kind of. <laughs> but what if you just? What if you me minorly after... inconvenience Ben for a turn? You yeah. did. What, what if? What <laughs> That's if, already happened. What if you kill me after we work together, comrade, to kill Ben? Mm. Can we kill Ben though? We will. We'll know after a turn. Yeah, I guess. You can that's always fair. kill me next turn. What am I doing with this target? Mm. You do. You do that. Yeah. Outside play interference. <laughs> well, what do it's you think I should? Do? I got a pretty dope hand. To yeah, be honest. Yeah. 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 Oh, you guys are screwed. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we? <laughs> well, but what, not necessarily. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what you have. I'm tapped out. All right, Gideon Jura. Oh, yeah, see? that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so. Wait, you think that saves you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. It does. What does it do? I plus two at target. So uh, during the target opponent's next turn, creatures that. Uh, Player control attacks Gideon Jura to Fable. So right, you... yeah, and it's not like the Rector's that could possibly have bird oh, spells. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> well, as far as the board is concerned. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. fair. Yeah. All right, so that's what I'll do. I will plus eight. Yeah. Oh, so heroically getting under the bus for more of his friends. My man. Gideon can't catch a break. No. <laughs> Although, 
I think it would have looked a lot less heroic in that cutscene if instead of Liliana, it was these two chuckleheads. <laughs> I don't think he would have done it for them. <laughs> he would have been like pushing them. <laughs> his heart's so big. Why wouldn't he stand behind me or whatever he said? I'm the gate watch. I assume that's his tagline. Yeah. All right. I'm going to untap mm -hmm. and draw. Uh, I'm going to uptick your boy. Oh, he's down to 42. We have a chance. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hmm. saying there's a chance. Uh, yeah. Honestly, you bite yourself a turn, I think. So it's everybody has to attack Gideon. Yes. If it can. Yes. If it can, it must. Yeah. If it can, it must. All right. Go get him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> can, well, okay, yeah. Gideon, so Gideon. he's definitely dead. Gideon, your sacrifice will be remembered. I'll gain four. Yeah, you're up to 46. Unless any of those has first strikes and kills it first or whatever. No, no. no. Okay. I'll play a land for the turn. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, Soaring came back. <laughs> you can blame it all on me. Uh, it doesn't come in tapped. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't go on without you. Uh, all right, well, you can hide for only so long, Zurge. I'm putting you on a three turn clock. What it's is it? Stormfist Crusader. All right. It's a 2 2 with menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe what I do is I'm going to crack the spell bomb. Um, and exile your graveyard. Oh, now I can't kill Sir. Wait, you can respond and make a Moreland Hunt creature. Uh, you're right, I can. You can still kill me with that creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So helpful. Yeah, yeah exactly. Death, yeah. All right. Uh, as this is going to the bin, too, I'll, uh, I'll pay the one to draw a card off mm. it. I will play Gutter Snipe. Ooh, yeah. Uh, and... Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what's here. And I I leave all of this. Okay. Uh, oh, no, you know what? I'll also play this Worn Power Stone for mm. three. You know what's amazing is he, we, he's never had to give up that jewel one. No, I yeah. know. I know. It's not that coveted, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think it's be a bit crap. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Serge. All right. Now for something completely different. The card that will stabilize this board... Oh, it's actually a spell. What are you? <laughs> oh. Or a mutation. Oh, that's a good one. You can finally kill the shit. Oh, that's actually a good oh one. Oh, my God, it is. Uh, does Ben have anything? Well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Enchantment specifically. No. Uh, no. I don't think so. All right. This is actually, this is, I actually have a turn here suddenly. All right. Uh, we're going to cast two mana or mutation. Destroy the generational shift. Create X11 one, one sapperling creature tokens where X is the enchantment's mana value. Five. So I get five. So now that I have six creatures, finally there's a card I've been wanting to cast. I've had no board, Camaraderie. Mm -hmm. So this is six mana, gain X life, draw X cards where X is the number of creatures you control. Yes. And they also get plus one, plus one. Okay. You've got I'm a going, look on your face. I'm going to cast Wild Ricochet. Okay. Uh, so you're still going to get that, but I'm also going to be making a copy. Because it, it, usually you can use this to like pick a different target or yeah, something like yeah. that. Uh, but it's, you may choose new targets for target instant or sorcery, then copy that spell. <laughs> How many creatures do you have? Uh, I have a lot. Uh, but the more relevant thing here is you're at three right now. Uh, I am the, the gutter, I'm going to try and burn you out with gutter snipe oh my God. before this turn. Okay, triggers. so you have the first spell. Yeah. Okay, so gutter snipe does what? So two damage to each opponent. It's, it's going to deal two damage, but first off, wild ricochet is copying. So I guess... So Wild. you cast, then you have a triggered ability. Yeah, the trigger is here. Okay, so James goes to nine, I go to one. Yeah. Then your camaraderie is going to resolve. Yes. So gain how many life? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. Okay, so gain seven, go to 53. Yeah. Draw seven. Uh, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm actually tapping mana for that. <laughs> Important part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so draw seven. Yeah. No instance. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. So I gain six. I go to seven. I draw six cards. Camaraderie's down here. Suddenly I'm very tense. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you're living on a thread here. Yeah. All right. And well, Laura's a 3-3 three, three for the turn. Wow. I could kill James. No, I'm just <laughs> what is the power and toughness of your creatures? I have, a, well, technically a 0-2 and a 0-2. No, no, the... Gravitational shift is gone. I have a 2-2 two, two, and a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I attack you with Amara. She's a 3-3. Three, three. I get a 1-1. One, one. Uh, I don't want you to have the egg. No, the egg. So I guess Stormfist Crusader will get under it. Okay. 
I definitely miscalculated because I thought I had a 3-3, three, three, I had two twos, and I forgot about your camaraderie. I also forgot my camaraderie. Are you still okay with that attack? You could take it back. Well, I wanted to take your egg and, like, the soldiers kind of... Uh, you offered me the take back. I won't attack. Yeah, that yeah, seems... Yeah, you know what? I... My my camaraderie was kind of amalgamous, so I forgot yeah. that it existed. Yeah, my camaraderie is not making my commander cost 12. Yeah. Go, James. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have any flying blockers right now, James. You could take the egg. Oh, God, no. That gets you three no. and three cards. Wait, does it untap when you get it? It'll get yeah. at least three cards. Yeah. Thank you for An one. An unblocked I, flyer. Now, but could I... I mean, I have a planeswalker. That's, mm -hmm. that's pretty spooky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I attack you for one. Down to 52. The egg okay. has changed hands. All right, so what does so, the egg do again? So you get it. It untaps. You draw three, and uh, now it, and it taps for three of any color. Base. Wow. Uh, so I have 5, 10, 11, 14. That's... Five. What is my commander cost right now? It's died twice. Yeah, four more mana. So ten. So it's ten. I can't cast both. Um, I think I'm just casting my planeswalker or my uh, sure. my planeswalker. My uh, <laughs> my commander. Spiri is back. Okay, back again. Go ahead. Untrap. <laughs> <laughs> There is no Gideon to save you today. Yeah. Upcap, upkeep trigger. Upkeep trigger. Uh, everybody draws a card and loses one life. Oofa. Oh. Doofa. <laughs> you just win now? Uh, close. Just like I drew it up. <laughs> <laughs> so the card I drew is Breath of Malfagor, which is, to be honest, is a card I've never seen before. Uh, it's just nug everybody for five, each opponent for five. <laughs> what? Well, then I just die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After... But the elegant was that I wanted to, both of you to die. Oh. <laughs> Don't I? No, no, no. You go to one. Yeah, yeah, but then you just attack me with everything. Yes. Yeah, so but I, I don't want to do it in that way. Oh, okay. You wanted to be elegant about it. All yes. right. Well, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> James is at one. Yeah. I'd finally drawn cards that synergized and stuff too. A little, too little, too late. And the elegant way is combustible gear hulk. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Yep. James. Yeah. Now, you may have me draw three cards. Yeah. If you don't, I will mill those three. Uh huh. And it will deal damage equal to their CMC. Uh huh. Can you give me hit land, land, land? Yeah. 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 Let's go. All, All right. right. We're Flip milling three. three. Flip three. Land. <laughs> land. land. <laughs> <laughs> James, your superpower? <laughs> Take two damage, Turner. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. Uh, we tried. Uh, uh, GG, everybody. GG. Yeah. <laughs> Your deck popped off. Yeah. Your deck popped off. This one's spooky. Oh my god. Yeah. Holy moly. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Dang. Good game. Good game, everyone. That does it for this episode of Elder Dragon Social Club. Do you like these decks? Well, good news. You can just go out and buy them and they're not even expensive. They're like 20 bucks or something ridiculous like that, where whatever local currency they may be in. Uh, I want to say thank you so much to Card Kingdom, our sponsor, and to Dragon Shield, who are the purveyors of fine tabletop accessories, and uh, to you for watching. If you liked it, leave a comment below. Don't forget to bingle the dingle or dongle the bongle or whatever else you want to say. Talk about all the songs that we could have made references to and gotten our comments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.